Right guys, we're here with the one and only Mark Sesting. How Hello. you doing? Hello, I'm behaving, sadly. <laughs> so Mark, uh, can you tell us, you know, what's your history regarding comics and how did you get into it? How did I, well, history, uh, I used to do comics back in the 90s, which is probably before most of your viewers were born, bastards. Um, uh, yeah, back in the 90s I did little independent Australian comics, uh, which managed to get me banned. And then I didn't do comics for a long time, and I somehow managed to get into film the same week that I got banned. So I've been doing storyboarding and concept work for film for about 20 years, which has been fun. And now I'm back doing comics again, which is kind of confusing. Well, uh, going back to your film career, what, if you're able to, to say that, is um, what are some of the films that you've worked on? Yeah, lots of films that no one's seen, uh, which is probably good because they're really crap. Uh, but I did work on, I've worked on uh, one of the Star Wars films, I've done Mission Impossibles and spent, uh, spent eight years working on films about penguins, did two Happy Feet films, which I apologise for, and uh, of course Fury Road, which was fun. And I uh, would like to do another Fury Road again at some stage as well, because that was more fun. It was making no sense already. So, um, do you have any, any inspirations that you've had with your writing or, or, or artistry? Uh, inspirations. Uh, other, than, other than the desire to tell a very good story and to make things feel like they're well considered and work on a, yeah, they're, they're not things that just are a throwaway. You want to do something that's actually going to last in people's minds. So, it, I, inspiration is to do a job that people remember for a very long time. And then, of course, there's, you know, fabulous artists and fabulous writers that we all know. I mean, George Miller's been a person who I've, uh, has been an absolute inspiration to me. I've done several films with him, which has been awesome. Uh, you know, we've all, you know, I'm of that age that I grew up on the original Star Wars trilogy, and so that was a big inspiration for me. Mad Max, all that sort of stuff. Uh, although, oddly enough, I didn't grow up watching films or television or anything like that, so, yeah. Weirdly, I kind of got, got into pop culture through a very roundabout way. Like a proxy type thing, almost. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah I didn't see Star Wars until 1983, which is six years after it came out, but I had all the toys and I'd read the, the, read the novel and I had the comic book. Uh, so, yeah, odd, odd things like that, yeah. That's what happens when you grow up on an island in the middle of the South Pacific, where there's nothing of that sort of, sort of stuff around. Awesome. So, we've got, we've got this here, 2000 AD. Could you tell us a little, little bit about that? All right, so, for those who don't know, 2000 AD is a very long-running anthology comic. It's one of the last remaining purely British comic books uh, done in the old paradigm of, uh, you know, British comics used to be a, a weekly thing. Uh, there are always anthologies that you had at least five or six stories in them. Uh, um, really interesting way of storytelling because, of course, they are weekly and they're in small increments, so you have to have uh, something which actually really, really, really moves at a great pace. Um, interesting writing challenges. And 2000 AD's been the launching ground for many, many, many really amazing talents in the comic book industry. Uh, you know, Grant Morrison, Mark Miller, you know, amazing artists like Brian Bolland and uh, I've had a complete mental blank because there's too many to remember. But yeah, so many, many people have come out of 2000 AD and uh, I've read it for over 30 years and uh, been a great fan but I've managed to actually now got a job working on it. It's been fun. So yeah, I've been doing art for that. It's been nice. We've got the uh, 2000th issue coming up in three weeks, which is a pretty good accomplishment. So yeah, got something in that, that'll be good. And you've also done you know, um, sort of the printed, you could say, um, comic of the Mad Max Fury Road. Yes. Could you, could you say anything about that or is that still... No, I can talk about that. I mean, yeah, obviously, uh, I mean, I storyboarded and did concept art for the film. And then when we finished that, which was back in 1999 to 2002, at the end of that, went to George and said, George, can we do comics? And George went, uh, oh, oh, oh that's a, that's a, that's, that sounds like an interesting idea. I'll, I'll think about it. And 
and that was 2002 and then 2014 he rang me and said uh, oh, see I'm ready to do those comics now <laughs> so uh, yeah thanks George 12 years of uh, 12 years of waiting but anyway so we got to do comic books which were co-written by myself and uh, the other uh, one of the other screenwriters on the uh, film Nico Lasuris and they are prequels not necessarily origins but prequels telling elements of the stories of some of the major characters within Fury Road uh, which was a lot of fun and I'd like to do more of those as well but we'll see how that goes. So they, they put certain characters in contact basically? To a certain degree yeah but without actually making it a necessary read in order to understand the film yeah you're trying to make stories that actually stand on their own and add an extra level of mythology and uh, a deeper understanding of all, of all the subliminal stuff in Fury Road because there's so much stuff in Fury Road hopefully it adds to it which generally I think we've been reasonably successful in doing so that's been fun yeah. well, any plans for the future Mark? Uh, other than having some more sleep uh, I'm, I'm currently working on a uh, phase 3 Marvel film which I can't say anything about because there is a sniper out there somewhere the Marvel stand is just over there so they'll just shoot me or run me over with that bloody bike. Um, so yes, Phase 3 Marvel film that may have something to do with Africa. Um, so storyboarding that. And then after that, I don't know, I'd like to do uh, hopefully some more work for 2000 AD. Uh, hopefully some more work for, yeah. A few, a few, a few things in the, pot, in the pot. We'll see how we go. Fantastic. Anyway, Mark, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, I hope you have a great Oz Comic Con. I'll do my best. I'll have my I'll have my muffin and I'll feel so much better. Breakfast. Okay. Okay. Okay.